Good morning, everyone. I am using the Awakened Soul. Uh, it's an oracle deck, and it's by Ethany, if you like it. It comes in a really nice box. It has a gilded edges. <laughs> it's, it's really beautiful. And if you order it from her website, she's at um, ethany.com. Uh, she ships really fast. Okay, so this is for <laughs> New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve day, and New Year's Eve. So 6 a.m. in the morning, the moon is at 28 degrees Aries. Oh, gratitude. Oh, this is perfect. So the guidance is from, from my guides to yours, or your guides to me, actually. <laughs> They're wanting us to be very, very grateful. So we have gratitude and surrender. Yeah, we're, we're giving up the year, aren't we? <laughs> and with that Aries moon and that last degree, you know, I mean, we just have one more degree, and then that'll happen. It's going to, we'll, we'll, by the end of the day, the moon will be in Taurus. And that should be nice and yummy for the... Um, you know, the, for New Year's Eve, although we do have Venus conjunct Pluto, and that could be uh, very powerful. It could be very empowering if you can get into touch with what you really want, what, what you really value, what matters to you most. And the cards are, are you know, backing up the astrology. This is a, this card is actually the, Get it to focus. Come on. There you go. It's the challenge card. So I'm feeling like make your move, but go towards what you want. Life doesn't have to be so challenging, but it's nice to have something to really engage with. A lot of people like a challenge. I, I don't mind a little bit. <laughs> it all depends. We all have different personalities and we're all created in different, um, you know, we have different divine rays that come through us. And, um, you know, we all have love, power, and peace within us. But some of us get our mojo going when we have something to bump up against a little bit more than others. Uh, that That's not how I operate, but many people do. And I just, they, they fascinate me and I love it. So, but anyway, with the surrender card being here as, as the theme... It feels like, you know, just go with the flow. Surrender the f with the flow of life. It's like, yeah, the, the year's up. What are we going to do about it, right? Well, it's really nice to be grateful for the challenging year that we've had. And maybe it's about saying goodbye. Saying goodbye to the challenges. And then for those of you who love a good challenge, and maybe this is about hanging out with some friends that you dearly love for the evening to bring in the new year, and you're playing games. Maybe this is a chess game or any other game uh, that can be a lot of fun. <laughs> so if you have any trouble, if you're feeling challenged, I would say that the guidance coming through with these cards is to drop into what you're really grateful for. We can always look around us and, and be grateful for something, whether it's a pet or, I don't know, you guys, when I lay down at night, I'm like, oh, I love my bed. <laughs> I love my pillow. <laughs> you know, usually I'm comfortable. I'm not always, but I still, you know, I don't know. Sometimes horizontal is my favorite position. <laughs> I bet you there's someone out there that can relate. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, just going with that flow of life and, and let's, let's let go. Maybe it's about letting go of life being so challenging. And maybe 2023 is going to be a very, very good year. And that we are going to be very grateful. <laughs> So, yeah, but the way the way we grow our abundance, the way we step into more abundance is to be grateful for what we have. We can't, it, and that's a spiritual law, that we can't create abundance from lack. So if we're feeling like we don't have enough, 
we are going, and we do have times, we all have gone through times where we didn't have enough and we we're like, oh shoot, how are we going to pay this or this or this? If we go to the place where we have more than enough and just spread that consciousness out into the rest of your life, that's, that's how to circumvent those times where we feel that we don't have enough. Because if we go through life feeling that we don't have enough, we'll just create more of that constantly right? It's all about your state of consciousness and, you know, putting yourself in the place of having so much more than you'll ever want, right? Just put yourself in that gratitude place like, oh, just look at her. She's, she's got it. She's happy. <laughs> so, okay. Well, thanks you guys. I'll see you next year. <laughs> Bye.